hey guys welcome back to another video of circuit digest so in this video i'll show you how you can build an ivr system using your raspberry pi and the sim 800 gsm module so basically most of us would be already familiar with ivr systems where we get automated phone calls like press 1 to confirm press 2 to cancel something like that so we're building so we will be building the exact same thing using your raspberry pi and the sim 800 gsm module now everything is set powered and the program is already there uh, ready for uh, getting executed so let me first show you how everything works and then I will show you quickly how we build it here So as you can see uh, this is the code. Uh, we'll get it get back to that later and this is the terminal window where we can get uh, The current status of the program. So let me run it And I will place my microphone over here so that you'll be able to hear I hope my voice is still audible uh, so as you can see the IVR has started and I am getting a phone call So let me just attend the call You can see that it says a ringing So let me just attend it Hello, I am a Raspberry Pi calling robot and this is a demo call from circuitdigest.com Press 1 to confirm your order Press 2 to cancel the order Press 9 to speak with our customer care executive. Press 0 to repeat. Press 1 to confirm your order. Press 2 to cancel the order. Press 9 to speak with our customer care executive. Press 0 to repeat. Press 1 to confirm your order. Press 2 to cancel the order. Press 9 to speak with our customer care executive. Press 0 to repeat. The order has been cancelled as per your request. Hoping to see you back in our store again. So as you can see, I just pressed 2 to cancel the order. I could have pressed any button. And since I cancelled an order, I will be receiving a similar message uh, stating that your order has been cancelled. Now as you can see, as you can see this is the last message I got. Uh, it says, hi, uh, the customer name is Aisha which we hard coded inside the program. Now hi, sorry that you have decided to cancel your booking. If you have cancelled by mistake, kindly contact us through phone. So this is the text message that I have received since I cancelled the order. Uh, earlier uh, I rejected the call. Uh, so it says hi again the customer name we from circuitages.com have been trying to reach you to confirm your booking You will receive another call within few minutes. We kindly request you to answer it. Thank you. So you can uh, change different messages uh, Based on the response from the customer and again as you saw even with the keypad thing you can give different feedbacks You can confirm the booking you can cancel the booking you can uh, repeat whatever was played uh, You can even talk to a customer care executive So all the options were available in the keypad then another thing that you should notice is over here as you can see in the debug window we can say or what we can see what the customer has uh, done with that particular call so here it says ringing uh, to this particular number and then the call got answered and then the response from the customer was cancelled so since i cancelled it it says response cancelled if i have rejected the call without even attending it it will say call rejected and similarly if i have confirmed it it will say confirmed if i have if my number was not reachable it will say not reachable so we can get the exact feedback on what the customer chose to do so this is how the project works let me quickly uh, show you one more demonstration and then i will show you how the hardware and the program works now as always the complete code for this project and the circuit diagram can be found at the link given in the description of this video in this uh, video i'll just be demonstrating how the entire project works so let's get started <laughs> I am a Raspberry Pi calling robot and this is a demo call from circuitdigest.com. Press 1 to confirm your order. Press 2 to cancel the order. Press 9 to speak with our customer care executive. Press 0 to repeat. Press 1 to confirm your order. Press 2 to cancel the order. Press 9 to speak with our customer care executive. Press 0 to repeat. Ok, 
your order has been confirmed tracking details will be shared soon okay now let's take a closer look on the hardware over here uh, let me quickly power this down so as you can see the setup is very very simple i have just uh, used the gsm 800 module let me zoom in and close this dialog so as you can see i have just used the sim 800 module along with a buck converter now this sim 800 module needs a very good power source at least of 2 amps so uh, make sure that your adapter supports 12 volts 2 amps and uh, and it is always a best practice to use thicker wires for your power rails and keep this power source i mean the buck regulator close to the sim 800 module as much as possible now on the raspberry pi side there is nothing new here i have just used raspberry pi 2 you can use pi 3 or uh, uh, pi 4 whichever you're comfortable with everything should work the same and i have used a usb to ttl converter which basically sends the 80 commands from the raspberry pi to the sim 800 module now for the audio part, I have directly connected the mic negative and mic positive of the GSM module with the Raspberry Pi line in output. Now this is not the best way to do it. Uh, the output from here is a line audio output uh, and the input that goes here is supposed to be a microphone input. But uh, you can just keep the volume of your Raspberry Pi as low as possible. Let me quickly show you that. So on your Raspberry Pi side, there are two things that you have to do. One is make sure that, uh, just give me a second. Yeah, make sure that your volume is low. If you increase it too much, the voice might get, uh, the base of the voice might get very bad on the receiver side. So always keep it low. And the second thing is uh, make sure you right click this icon and select AV jack, which is this 3.5 mm jack. If you select HDMI, the audio will be uh, going out to the HDMI port and you won't be able to hear anything from the uh, phone. So make sure it's AV jack and the volume is low and you should be good. And as far as the program is considered, the complete code can be found at the link given in the description of this video. It is a very simple code and easy to use. I'm not going to explain the complete code here because I have already done that in the documentation. So that is it guys. This is how the project works. I hope you would be using it in some of your applications. If you have any doubt, please use the forums to post your questions and I will try my level best in answering them as soon as possible. So that is it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.